Okay, at this point we have an idea of what are the things we need to monitor for the successful working of this dynamic CRM to Salesforce integration. We have four BizTalk applications that are referenced to each other for to make this as a modular uh, solution. So we have dynamic CRM, SAP, Salesforce and some common applications with bunch of artifacts like orchestration, send boards, yeah. locations, etc. So we need to monitor the health state of those artifacts and also we wanted to monitor some process monitoring stuff right we wanted to make sure there are some certain volume of messages flowing through the system constantly during your during your business hours and also there are some bunch of supporting components required to make this integration work correctly for example the NT services you need to make sure the rules engine is working correctly, enterprise single sign-on is working correctly, and the World Wide Web is working correctly. And the other things like BizTalk host instances, uh, event log, uh, SQL jobs. So we have a fairly good idea of what are the things constitutes to make this integration seamless. Our next step is to show you like how you can use BizTalk 360 to make a custom alarm uh, just for this purpose and make sure uh, the system monitors and notifies you when things go wrong. So let's go into BizTalk 360 here. So this is the, the BizTalk 360 uh, web application. I'm going to monitoring and notification section. So the very first thing I need to do here is I need to create an alarm. So go to manage alarm and create new alarm. So I'm going to call it dynamic CRM Salesforce integration. And I need to give a bunch of email addresses for this demo. I'm just using going to use uh, my Hotmail ID. So once that's done, I go to next step. So here you need to monitor some threshold settings, how long the system can wait before notifying some people like when some things go wrong and there are also other settings like you can limit the alert and get notified when things become normal and you can also set a window for monitoring all those kind of things but for this demo I'm just going to leave it at two minutes the next thing you may want to get a health status of this integration on a daily basis so Monday to Friday 10 o'clock in the morning, I just wanted to get an email with the overall health of this particular integration scenario. So you can do that here. And after that, you have some advanced notification channels like SMS, HP Operation Manager, etc. But for this demo, I'm just going to leave it uh, blank. So I just created my alarm. I defined my scenario. What are the things I wanted to monitor? Next, I will need to go and configure the various sections required. So I'm going to go to application. So this automatically lists out all the applications deployed in this environment. But for this particular case, we are interested only to, to create a, a things that are relevant to the CRM integration. So I'm just going to go to the integration common thing. And uh, in this one, we have an orchestration which we need to monitor. And you also can look at it, it's automatically it's selected the 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 alarm where we're going to put things together so click on this one and i say i wanted to make sure this is in a started state so there are no receive locations and ports uh, for this orchestration for this particular application so let's go on to the next uh, uh, crm integration application dynamic crm so here we have an orchestration which we need to monitor and there is a receive location which picks up the customer data from dynamic crm which we wanted to make sure it's it's enabled and there are no send ports uh, so the so that's all we need to monitor here and let's go to the next application which is a is, is the integration salesforce application so this one got a send port to salesforce to transmit the customer data to sell salesforce we wanted to make sure this is running and there is also an orchestration in, in this uh, particular application. Let's make sure that's also running. So there are no receive locations. Uh, and finally, let's go to the, the SAP application. And uh, we'll, let's make sure there is a, the orchestration is running. Uh, there are no receive locations. There, no, there is a send port. Uh, we'll just make sure that's running as well. And we also wanted to make sure the, the number of service instances are, are not piling up. Uh, let's say like we wanted to keep an eye on the CRM system, service instances. And I can say I wanted to keep an eye on the suspended resumable and suspended non-resumable states. It's all green now because the current count is zero and a warning and the error threshold or uh, you, can, you, can, you can modify the data if you want to. 
so we pretty much has done uh, done the the uh, the application uh, monitoring side of things there's one more thing we wanted if you, if you go back to this picture so we have done all these parts so we mo configure monitoring for orchestration send ports service instances etc so we also wanted to make sure there are process monitoring we are processing some 200 messages per hour 9 am to 5 pm monday to friday so in order to do that uh, let me go to the the crm application so you're already there and i'm going to the receive location and via this receive location i wanted to keep an eye so this was something called process monitoring you click here and i wanted to make sure there are 200 messages per hour going through this particular receive location so let's say at least 200 messages every hour uh, 9 9 a.m to uh, to 5 p.m uh, monday to friday and you save it so you basically have covered the process monitoring aspect as well. So if you go back to the picture, so we, we defined an alarm and then within that alarm, we configured all the application related stuff now. The next thing we wanted to make sure is all the supporting components required for this integration scenario is working correctly. So we need to make sure NT services, event log, SQL jobs and BizTalk host instances are relevant to this particular applications are in a healthy state. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So we'll go to the manage uh, the BizTalk 360 uh, application. And this time we are going to the BizTalk servers section. It will automatically list out all the servers currently in the environment. So in this case, there's only one server. You click and, and you can, you're still keeping the same alarm, Dynamic CRM Salesforce integration. So we wanted to make sure the NT services required are running. So in this case, we wanted to make sure the enterprise single sign-on service, which is running. So this enterprise single sign-on, we wanted to make sure the rules engine update service is running. So rules engine update service. And also we wanted to make sure the www service is running. Worldwide web publishing service is running correctly. Sorry. Are running so the next we wanted to make sure some event logs are monitored for any uh, any relevant events so we're just going to make sure uh, we're going to call it uh, dynamic CRM integration part and uh, let's let's make sure let's have a bunch of email IDs uh, which are relevant to this particular uh, integration scenario something like three zero zero nine eight seven eight nine seven uh, six seven eight nine something like that and we can also keep for example we can also keep an eye on the uh, free text as well like sap or a, a dynamic crm uh, or a salesforce so if there is any events that comes with one of these text in there so it will all be hooked up to this particular alarm and you can you can set up the thresholds like if there are two errors or two warnings or some five information messages in the last 10 minutes you wanted to get notified so once you do that then system will keep an eye and and will notify you uh, as soon as as that happens so if you go back to, to the picture so we we have configured NT services and event log which are specific to the the BizTalk servers so we have we have already done that one so the next thing is to monitor the pista host instances and the sql jobs so go to pista environment which list all the host instances running in this particular environment pick up the ones that are relevant for the crm one and say must be started in the similar way you go to sql server instances and pick up the sql instance and you can see the crm data cleanup job is there you just select it and say wanted to make sure uh, that's enabled so now we have pretty much covered all this uh, supporting components uh, monitoring. So, so in a way, like we, we covered whatever required for this uh, particular uh, uh, CRM integration. So you can take an overall look of this alarm by going to the monitoring dashboard and going to the alarm mapping section. So this is the dynamic CRM section and you can see we monitored uh, all the applications with the different artifacts. We monitor the BizTalk server for event logs and NT services and the SQL server instance, we monitor the SQL jobs and the host instances. So this comes as a single pack now. So for this particular uh, integration scenario, so we created a pack and that's going to keep an eye on all these artifacts that are related together. And if any one of the things goes wrong, you will get notified automatically. 
now we pretty much configured all the BizTech applications, SQL components. You can also do the infrastructure component monitoring, but just for the interest of time, I'm just going to leave it. So this one more thing I wanted to point out is the monitoring dashboard. So once you've configured everything you know, like, like Dynamics CRM Salesforce integration, you have something called a monitoring dashboard. So here you can see it's a, it's a view which shows basically what are the things, various things we created for this particular alarm and people, you can put it on a, on a big screen and keep an eye on the overall health of, uh, of your system. So in this case, everything is looking good. Everything is green. So what shall we do is to simulate a failure scenario. Let's say, for example, let's go to the Bistack admin console and uh, let's stop uh, one of the send ports. So I'm going to say I'm going to stop this one. So so of course the Salesforce connectivity is lost now. And in a similar way, I can go to host instances and I'll say like I'm going to stop one of those CRM uh, host relevance here. example, the process host. So let's stop it. So now we know the system is broken because two of the components required for this particular integration is not working as expected. So now let's watch what's going to happen with the uh, with the monitoring dashboard. So it's going to refresh in the next 60 seconds and you can see straight away it just got reflected and it automatically figured out okay this send port is not working so this application is not going to be healthy and there is application monitoring is in problem. And here you can see the host instance is not healthy so the environment is not healthy and it bubbled, bubbled up to the uh, to the top and you know exactly this integration is broken. In addition to the showing the health status and the monitoring dashboard, Bistock 360 will also send an email notification about the health of this particular monitoring. So let's take a look at the email message. So you can see from the email, the subject line clearly shows it's a down alert for this particular Dynamics CRM to Salesforce integration. It will clearly highlight the components that are configured for this particular alarm. So here you can see the environment details and all the applications related to this uh, particular integration, their health status. And here you can clearly see the Salesforce application is not healthy because the send, one of the send ports is in critical state. In the email, it will clearly see which send port is under trouble and what is, what is the problem. If you scroll down a bit under BizTech environment section, you can see the host instances are also not in a healthy state. So here, this is in a, in a critical state and, and this particular BizTalk uh, process host responsible for the CRM app is not in, a, in an expected state. So that's how easy it is to set up monitoring in BizTalk 360 for a particular scenario. So you may have like various applications deployed into your environment. So you can't generally have like just simply go and monitor all the receive ports and ports and without any context associated with it. But you have seen in this example, we just created a custom management pack just for this dynamic CRM and Salesforce integration. And we put everything together and just within like 10, 15 minutes. So this is the power of BizTalk360. And I'm sure you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.